Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to do light smoke tint over your third brake light of a Hyundai Genesis. So first of all, start with your brake light fully cleaned. You can see that I have a piece of vinyl already pre-cut. This is Vivid's Premium Plus line light smoke tint for headlights and taillights. Um, as you can see there, what I've done is I double checked to make sure that the piece actually fit, that I did cut, and then I'm just tacking on one side there on the right. Uh, on the right side, giving myself a little excess and then peeling off the vinyl uh, and then laying on basically the where the brake light curves up um, vertically from underneath. This taillight uh, brake light does go underneath the spoiler a little bit. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm tacking on that vertical surface and then working my way underneath to the bottom part of the brake light because uh, that's where more surface area is just taking my squeegee using my finger to smooth everything out this is a super simple process um, nothing too overly complicated uh, i do take a little bit of extra time here what i'm doing is i'm using my micro squeegee now to take some of that vinyl pull it back a little bit and feed it into the gap uh, between the spoiler and the uh and the brake light housing itself uh, sorry my big head is in the way there but you can see that's, um, I'm just basically trying to push a little bit of vinyl in there to make sure that there's some coverage that goes into the gaps, both on the front side, if you will, or the back side, uh, in this case, of the taillight, and then underneath where the uh, taillight housing or brake light housing ends underneath the spoiler itself. Take extra care to come around the curves, uh, because as you, as you cut around curves, I have found that it's pretty easy to cut short there because you don't tuck as much material in. Um, once I've done an initial one, I like to hit it with a little bit of heat first just to make sure I didn't miss anything. If I didn't tuck it in well, the heat will pop it back out, and you can see that's where you might need to readdress it. Um, and then it will also shrink back any vinyl that might have been shrunk a little bit or might have been stretched a little bit, excuse me. Um, so you can see I'm just giving it a little bit of heat, seeing what it's doing, and then I'm going to take my micro squeegee again. I'm taking one that's a little bit more flexible now and then pushing... Um, that vinyl back in now that the any stretch has been taken out by reshrinking it and then now that it's also a little bit soft making sure everything's tucked in to that gap between the brake light housing <clears throat> and the uh, spoiler itself tucked in nicely again i just did the top part there hitting it with a little bit more heat to see what it's what it's going to do what it's looking like uh, where i might need to tuck in a little bit better um, and basically i'm just going for full coverage uh, I was pretty comfortable with the way everything looked there. So you can see I'm um, starting to do the cut. And this is an easy cut. Uh, just be careful because I'm using the knife here. But you, there's a gap between the brake light housing and the spoiler itself. So just put the tip of your knife in that gap. And then um, using the spoiler and the brake light housing as your guides, um, you can just float that blade right in that gap there. Again, sorry for the bad camera ang camera angle. I'm blocking it, but basically all I'm doing is come around that curve, that corner there as best as I can. You'll get a, probably get a better angle here. Trying to make sure that I keep the blade um, in between and in the gap so I'm not scratching the inside paint of the spoiler. Um, being careful to come around curves there. So change your body positions as necessary so that you get um, good visibility while you're cutting. I went to the front here to pop the trunk so I can look underneath the, uh, the spoiler a little bit better. Um, give me a second here, I'll try to adjust the camera, but then I mess up and the spoiler, excuse me, the hatch will close on me, so I'll have to change it again here shortly. So you can see I'm trying to bring it down, and boom, there it closes on me. So I'm gonna go back real quick here, pop the hatch. All right, and then do this hopefully a little bit better now. Okay, so, Again, going towards what I just mentioned a few minutes ago about trying to get a better angle to see what you're going to do and cut, um, I popped the uh, the trunk so I can look underneath that line a little bit better so I can get a better cut, uh, I can get better visibility and a better cut angle so that I make sure that I don't slip and mess anything up as far as the cutting goes. So again, I'm finishing up on that right side there, coming around the corner, and then now I'm just going to go along the gap underneath um, the spoiler and the brake light housing there. Being careful to make sure that I don't cut anything and I keep that the tip of my knife and only the tip of my knife in the gap between the spoiler and the brake light housing. 
take your time, no race here. So make sure you cut all the way through, make sure your blade is super sharp. Once you've finished cutting all the way through, carefully peel off the excess vinyl so that, um, and do it slowly and deliberately to ensure that if you didn't cut through all the way through, you don't yank off part of the vinyl that you still want to be uh, applied to the surface of the brake light. Um, once you're all done, what I like to do is hit it with a little bit of heat afterwards to make sure everything is sealed down nicely. Any loose edges can, um, can be uh, basically shrunk around the edge of um, whatever house, in this case, the brake light housing. Use low heat when you're doing this and throughout this process because high heat, you run the risk of cracking um, the housing itself. Um, and also keep that heat moving. The last thing I like to do is take my micro squeegee and just go around all the edges to make sure everything is tucked in nice and tightly to um, make sure everything is also sealed down as well. And once you're done with that, for all intents and purposes, this brake light has been fully wrapped. So again, it's just basically laying the vinyl on, smoothing it down, applying it, tucking in the edges and trimming it out. Hopefully you found this video to be um, informative, uh, instructive, and helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys.